And now on to our dinosaur of the day, D-Long, which is a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. D-Long was a basal tyrannosauroid that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now Liaoning Province in China in the Yixian Formation. The holotype is a nearly complete semi-articulated skeleton, and it includes a nearly complete skull. The type and only species is Delong paradoxus, and the genus name means emperor dragon. It refers to the relationship of Delong to T-Rex, the king tyrannosaurid. Mm, so it's it's above the king because it's the emperor. Ah, uh, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. The species name means against received wisdom or against accepted wisdom and according to the original description refers to quote the surprising characters of this animal end quote there's proto feathers on a tyrannosauroid <laughs> yeah that is surprising mm -hmm. so delong was described in 2004 by shu xing and others the holotype was about 5.2 feet or 1.6 meters long but the holotype might be of juvenile so it's estimated to be more than 6.6 .6 feet or two meters long as an adult that is very small for a tyrannosaur. It's like raptor size. Another reason it's against received wisdom. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Delong had a long skull and slender neck, and it had this Y-shaped skull crest with two ridges along the snout. Delong had relatively long arms and three fingers on each hand, and it had a large jaw with tightly packed front teeth. It also had short legs, so it probably wasn't a fast runner, but it was probably active, and it probably went after lizards, mammals, and birds. Delong is similar looking to Eotyrannus, which lived in the Cretaceous in what is now the Isle of Wight in the UK, and it's closely related to Eutyrannus. Delong is covered in proto feathers, and they were found in fossilized skin impressions. Four specimens were found, but only one has the proto feather impressions. And these proto feathers were found around the tail and the back of the head. And they were up to 0.4 inches or 3 centimeters long. They were simple and filamentous. So based on that, Delong was probably covered in a downy coat. It was most likely used for insulation, not for flight. So Delong is a tyrannosauroid. It lived much earlier than T-Rex. Maybe that's why it got the emperor title. <laughs> And it's the first direct evidence that tyrannosauroids had proto feathers. The feathers on Delong may mean that T. Rex and then other later tyrannosaurs had feathers, as proven later by the discovery of Eutyrannus. Mm -hmm. Delong had some advanced skull features, like later tyrannosaurs, including fused nasal bones and a rounded snout with front teeth that are D-shaped and cross section, and that would have given it a quote unquote cookie cutter bite. Oh boy. <laughs> Yikes. Imagine it like a cookie cutter shark just taking chunks out of something. Yeah. Scampering off. That would be painful. <laughs> so it had a small skull compared to later tyrannosaurs, and the pelvis is not as robust as other tyrannosauroids. The skull is also less robust than other tyrannosauroids, but that could be because it was smaller. In other ways, Delong looked like juveniles of later bigger tyrannosaurs, though it and it shows that tyrannosaurs had some distinctions before they became large, like T-Rex. Adult tyrannosaurs in Alberta, Canada, and Mongolia have skin impressions that show pebbly scales. Shushing and others suggested that tyrannosauroids may have had different skin coverings on different parts of their bodies, so they had scales and feathers. And they also suggested that juveniles may have had feathers and adults had scales because adults got large enough they didn't need the insulation to keep warm. Scans of the brain case found that Delong had an S-shaped brain with thin meninges as the three membranes that line the skull and vertebral canal and enclose the brain and spinal cord. T-Rex, in comparison, had a more linear brain with thicker meninges. Based on the scans, it was found that Delong was probably agile and had good balance, but it didn't have as good a sense of smell as T-Rex. Delong lived in an area with early flowering plants, rivers, and streams, and there were nearby volcanoes. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place included Eutyrannus, Bapiosaurus, and Sinocalioteryx. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.